because I'm doing my <laughs> what is up with my wife? Taylor's tour, Iris tour tickets day, and I'm freaking out. And I probably have a vocal cord infection from the Harry Styles concert. Oh. I can't. Love and Tour is over. It literally was Love and Tour. Good morning. It is like 6.30, not even. And I'm on my way home. I'm so tired. I'm wearing my merch. Um, I hope the train is not delayed. I'm so so tired and I have a migraine I think I had it yesterday or the day before as well when I didn't sleep enough and I couldn't fall asleep yesterday because it was so full of adrenaline and thinking about the concert I think I had about three hours sleep if even that um so I'm really tired and I need to work until midnight how am I meant to do that I just hope I can sleep on the train but yeah wow there's still glitter in my face how lovely um, but yeah, I'm on my way home. Hope you enjoyed this hairy vlog. I'm gonna do a little bit of, of a roundup once I'm home how it was. As it was, but it was so nice. One of the best concerts I've been to, honestly. Right, peeps, change of plan. <laughs> I'm going to work. <laughs> I got the train, everything was on time. Oh my god, I had like three hours sleep. Mm. And my mate asked if I want to change shifts because, well, I don't know why, but he said he doesn't mind like closing down. Maybe he wants to be in the sun a little bit, I don't know. And I was like, yeah, I can do it, but I'm not sure if our chef allows that. So I'm literally going there much with my wristbands. I think I still have glitter all over my body. <laughs> and I'm going in my jogging pants, but like, I look better than I sometimes do when I open up, like not lying. So yeah, I also listen to Speak Now Taylor's version. The only thing is though, I don't have any dinner, but like that didn't stop me before, did it? So maybe in my break, I can just see if I can grab something at Lidl um, and ask my boss if that's okay. But yeah, I had a blast. And he played Stockholm Syndrome. I'm so happy. You don't understand. Whoop. <laughs> doing this let's go to work Woo! you're insecure don't know what for <laughs> see you in a bit my dress got dirty on the floor a hairy hello good morning it's Saturday it's 2 p.m. and I'm making my breakfast that sums up my day I woke up at 20 past 12 I think my body needed that extra bit of sleep. I'm wearing my bucket hat from Harry, by the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm making banana bread as well because I had five bananas that were like brown. So I made myself a smoothie bowl with spirulina powder, which is what I used to have in Portugal. And I saw it at a restaurant there. And ever since then, I've been making it for breakfast. Also, my throat is killing me today. I don't know if you can tell by my voice or how I'm speaking. <laughs> I think I screamed too much at the Harry concert. Let's not lie. <laughs> this is now my breakfast. It looks disgusting. Well, it tastes really nice because it's only green because of the powder, but actually it's like a smoothie fruit salad thing. It's like a smoothie and then just fruit toppings and not so, yeah. I, I was lying in the sun. I fell asleep, not gonna lie. Still very much tired. But now my friend is going to come over and we're going to go grocery shopping together. Fun things you do with your best friends, eh? Because I need to go and it's more fun to do it with a friend. At least I cleaned my room today and I immediately unpacked because if there's one thing I hate, it's packing and unpacking. It's the outfit now. Still really comfy. I just have banana bread, but honestly I need... I need vegetables, so really that's why I want to go grocery shopping. I want to get all the veg like paprika, zucchini. I still have zucchini, so that's why I'm thinking we're gonna do a nice roasted veg platter or a butter bowl with roasted veg and then rice. 
depends on what my friend wants to eat. I think that could be really nice. So yeah, that's what we're gonna cook now and then have a chill night. Good morning, welcome to Tuesday. I, I think I fell a bit ill on or the day after the concert because my voice, when I swallow, when I first, well, my hair, when I first got up, it's not it. I'm not vlogging a lot this week. And also not the next couple of weeks sadly because I'm doing my <laughs> what is up with my voice I'm doing my internship so I have internship and then I have work in the evening until 10 p.m. which means I literally don't have a lot of tea free time to do anything else you know I'm doing my internship that will last until like the 27th of August I think and after that I'm free for two weeks so hopefully it's gonna be an interesting vlog by that time good morning I'm vlogging a little bit on my phone I'm not on my internship but it's Taylor's tour Iris <laughs> tour tickets day and I'm freaking out my friend because I got the code is gonna log in into my eventum account and try to get us tickets because she is a massive Swifty, and I was like, I got a code, but I don't have time. If you have time to get the tickets, you can come with us if you want. So now she's trying to get us three tickets, and if they're rather cheap, like around 100 euros, then my sister would come as well. I don't know how this is going to go. And we also want seats, which is even worse, because usually you can't get them together if there's such a high demand. So I'm like, eh. So I'm looking at my phone and my friend is going to do it from home because she's in home office. So let's just pray for the Eris Tour tickets, peeps. Oh my God, guys, I managed to get Eris Tour tickets. I don't know how I did that. Don't ask me. I was stressed and I was only on my phone in my car driving to my internship. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to wait in the queue and just see. I just clicked on the link in the email and then it opened the site for me, which is a good tip. And I was like, right, let's just choose what my sister can afford. Um, and I thought, let's just click on that because especially when you need more than like two tickets, it's going to get hard and you need to be fast. So I was actually on the ticket site like 10 minutes after the sale started, which is really, really good. Then PayPal wouldn't let me lock in and register. And I was like, oh no. Let's not fail at this, please. And then I just went back and reloaded PayPal and locked in again, and then it worked. And then I got the notification that I had it, and that was like 20 past nine, and I was like, guys, I managed to get four tickets. I don't know how, but I have them. And we all also managed to get the same date, which is great, and we all have seats, not next to each other, obviously, because we're a group, I think, of like 10 people now that wants to go. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you that, and now I'm getting ready for work quickly. I hope my gym crush is there, not gonna lie because I work in a gym, if you haven't gathered or you're new to the vlogs. I'm gonna finish getting ready, but I thought it would give you the update that we have managed to get Aeris tour tickets. See you in Garden Kitten, woo! <laughs> Hello, welcome to Sunday. I have a bit of time today to actually vlog, so I thought I would do. It's already the evening, but a little life update situation. First thing, um, I'm coughing all over the place this week, and I probably have a vocal cord infection from the Harry Styles concert. Mm, love that. I thought this is only something that fingers, uh, fingers, singers have. Apparently not. I screamed too loud, so <laughs> I didn't lose my voice, but it was really like scratchy and I was, my throat was just sore the next day. It's probably a vocal cord because I only get it really early in the morning when I woke up and in the evening, like past like 9 or 10 p.m. My voice goes weird. Usually when I want to go to sleep, that I'm coughing all over the place, which is not great. But, um, I got changed. I did the laundry. Oh, another life update. I went on a walk yesterday with Sula with where my friends live. And I got bitten. Oh, it doesn't look as bad there in the camera now. But this morning, hang on, maybe from that side. Yeah, you can tell from that side. Um, there's a wonderful line on my thigh here, which is where the infection from the bite went so my whole thigh is basically really hot and warm from getting bitten from like a fly so um 
that's not great. But yeah, now I'm gonna go in a walk with Sula, but I'm gonna spray myself with mosquito spray all over. It's stinking, but I don't bloody care because even here, I got another bite and even that is swollen. Like, don't ask me why. I'm off going with the dog and I thought I would give you a little update after Sunday. I actually had a pretty good mental health relaxing Sunday. Usually I'm a bit stressed of like things I need to get done, but because I couldn't do anything today, I was like, there's no other things to do than to lie in the garden and read a book. So I feel like I should ask at work more to have a Sunday off because that way I actually feel like it's off. Whereas if I have like a Monday off or something, I still have people around me rushing and like working. Like my mum, she's working from home. So I feel like mentally I don't switch off. So maybe, especially with like the internship and everything and stressful days, I should keep that in mind. But we'll see if that's feasible, but yeah. Let's go on a walk with Sula. Sorry for that really rambly chat. <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit. Hello, welcome to Random Friday. I don't know what date it is and I'm sick as you can tell. Oh, <laughs> um, my co-worker, she has a cold and she infected me. So I have a blocked nose, I have a sore throat. My nose is running, which is fun. I look so tired and done with the day. It's a joke. But yeah, that's my little update. And also I need to clean up this because I, oh, I was up until like 2.30 last night because I just couldn't breathe and couldn't sleep. And it was uh, horrible. <laughs> right, we've been to the doctors. Did I tell you how to book a bloody uh, COVID test or they wanted me to do one? In the end, they didn't do one, but they told me I should come with a mask and everything. And then... I was just lying on the sofa. I'm now tomorrow driving to Dortmund to meet with a friend that I haven't seen in a really, really long time. So I think I'm about to take like big Mennonite and just hope for the best. <laughs> that it knocks me out and I will just wake up like a newborn baby. <laughs> Cause that's what I need, let's be real. I was at the Colt, I wasn't, well, I wasn't at the Colt Play concert last year in London but I was like next to it I was working in the venue next to it the OVO arena instead of the Wembley arena and the FOMO I felt you don't know and now I'm getting a f like I'm broke after the Taylor tickets and now I get an email that actually today Coldplay tickets for Coldplay 2024 in Düsseldorf are going on sale as a concert loving girly, I was like, I would have liked to see that, but I didn't buy tickets now. I don't know. I think I'm going to watch a Barbie film now. If I don't fall asleep and then go to bed. Sounds like a plan. I'm back from my trip and now we're ready for the final show. Actually, I'm not ready. Physically, I'm ready. Mentally, I'm not ready for this to be over. I'm going to be so sad. But we're gonna do a little streaming party. Me and my friend that were in the queue together for the Harry concert that I actually met at the Harry concert because I love meeting new people. I have so many friends from concerts, so we're gonna stream it together. And if I'm gonna be crying, I'm gonna vlog it a little bit. Oh, I'm not ready. Also, I need to take this downstairs and this because I'm gonna be crying. And because I'm gonna probably have to blow my nose every 10 minutes, but hey, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I hope. Oh my god, it's good los. Oh my god! Is that is this the best on tours in Silber? What? I'm not ready. Ah! In the live stream. There are 60,000 people streaming this right now. Crazy. Oh, they are singing something more. Ich glaube, die kommt jetzt ein Surprise Song. Nein! Two Ghost! Das hat er noch nie live gesungen. Oh Mann! Why? Yo, I wanna be there. Someone I don't want around. But I'm not ready. If he's playing best song ever in a moment, we're not ready. I've got my drink. Friends in the stream. I really can't watch it on my Instagram as well. And then we got Zoom open with all my friends, but I'm not gonna film it. Yeah, they're all like, oh, we're missing the best show in the last show. Next year we're gonna go to Wembley, I don't care. Oh, when it's the best song ever, I can't. Oh my god, 
he comes out dressed as a piece of sushi. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, no, you're talking about the shade. I can't. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you for. Thank you. Oh, oh he, and he's crying again. <laughs> the last two years of this tour has been the greatest experience I could ever ask for. And it has been an absolute honor to get to play for such a wonderful, supportive, emotionally generous group of the future that I see standing before me. Thank you so oh. much. The atmosphere that you have created, the family that you've created, this safe space for everyone that you've created, I want to thank you. And none of you are alone. Look around you, look how many people there are tonight. And we're all the same. I love you. Thank you so much. Ja, das hört sich an wie so fünf Jahre oder so. Nee. Was, was? Spielt er ein neues Lied? Oder, nee, Eva Could Fly ist aber Gitarre. Der ist ein Piano. New Songs? Ich kann nicht. Ich kann da jetzt nicht. Was? Ich hab voll Gänsehaut. Ich kann nicht. Ich bin jetzt gerade gar nicht. Oh nee. Oh mein Gott. Er kommt wieder. Oh mein Gott. Er kennt, er kennt, er kennt, er kennt, er kennt. Er kennt. Was? I wrote this for you. was this I'm more shocked than anything and then they brought out a fucking piano and he played like 10 minutes a 15 minute song I don't know and I was just sitting here I still talking about it I just get goosebumps my friends were crying but I'm not one point to cry in front of people but now I'm like sitting there on my own I'm like this is it Love and Tour is over. It literally was Love and Tour. It was so nice. And my battery is flashing, so I'm gonna love you and leave you. But that was an emotional roller coaster, and I'm not ready to let it go. He sang Falling. <laughs> ah, I'll speak to you tomorrow. I can't. Guys, what was that concert? Can we talk about that? When he sang Best Song Ever, on the day it came out also my first ever love on tour harry styles concert has been a year ago yesterday when he had the last love on tour show and i did not realize that until after cologne was a year ago and let me tell you although i've been to the other shows just the vibe because it were truly like Harry Styles and One Direction fans because the people that were there got the tickets prior to COVID and just that the atmosphere of that of also concerts being able to go through again it just was so unique and then compare like that combined with like the love on tour happiness that you just get to see all around my heart 
And then the end with that acoustic thing. We have a voice memo of that. Like, I can't. I truly can't. Every time I start that, it gives me goosebumps. <laughs> After concert, the pressure is hitting hard. The thing what upsets me is like, I don't know when he's coming back and it sounds too much like a goodbye. It really sounds like I'm gonna be gone for like five years or more. And that is what scares me. But the way that he got so emotional and that end got emotional, like his mum, why would she be crying? And that James Corden was there and everyone and his manager and Jeffrey and ah. And then he said years. Like, spread the love the next couple of years. That's what he said. And I'm like, what? Why years? What are you talking about? Just a big shout out to Anna, not Anna on Instagram. That's where we watched the live stream. And I had a lot of fun with the girlies. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching my love on tour videos i really appreciate it let's spread the love continue to love as harry says and let's stay strong until hs4 comes Mwah. bye <laughs>